YouTube, what's good? I'm your boy Big Beard B, and we are back for another edition of Big Beard Business. Today we're here with a fragrance review from the house of Nabitas Parfums, and today we're diving into a fragrance that I have been exploring more and more here recently and I wanted to kind of share my thoughts and opinions on it with the masses. As I mentioned today we're talking about a fragrance from the house of Nabitas and the fragrance comes from Steven Stir collection and this one is called Away. Now if you know anything about what Steven has talked about when it comes down to his fragrance collections he's pretty pointed in terms of what he's looking for and the latest three fragrances which are Imperial and Blaze and Away which we're talking about today all have the theme centered around books that he has read. Now I did a first impression on his channel but today I'm here to tell you about the full review and what I've experienced with this fragrance while having it within my collection. Now this one here is centered around the book The Odyssey or Homer's Odyssey and uh, this one was really meant to kind of embody him being lost at sea and his adventures and journeys getting back home. It's kind of like what I do every day when I leave the house, right? It's tough out here. <laughs> but this one here is a freshy fragrance and I'll tell you all about it. So like anything else, we'll go through the official presentation. And if you've seen the Novitas presentations, then you know, well, they're pretty up there, if I have to say so myself. Now let's go ahead and get through this distribution, all right? Look at that pressurized atomizer and this thing does burst, all right? It's nice and controlled. Boom, gets you no matter how far you are away. Get it away. Now this fragrance is just really, really nice, all right? So when I think of a lot of the fragrances that um, Nabitas Parfums has released, if I think through fragrances that I've released with them, I don't know if I've come across fragrances that are just this nautical, all right? This fragrance here to me embodies the theme, all right? It's a fresh fragrance that has this nautical theme to it, but it's not overly salty. And I think that is extremely important. So let me tell you about the first spray on the scent. It does something really different. In terms of the note breakdown, in the top here, you're gonna get some freshness. You have Calabrian bergamot, you have Mexican lime, you have Floridian grapefruit, you have Japanese yuzu, you have pink pepper, and then you also get some coconut within this one as well. And when that first spray is where I get that coconut, and it does smell divine. And for me, I think it's important to call out that coconut that it's there because it's there and it smells rich and flavorful and exotics, if you will but it's not quite like some coconutty rum fragrances that we've smelled out there. You guys know what I'm talking about when we talk about Creed's Virgin Island Water. That fragrance has that tropical feel, but this fragrance is totally different, and the uh, coconut there is nothing like this one here. In fact, it provides that amplified freshness within this fragrance, and what I do enjoy about this fragrance specifically is it seems to have a lot of that freshness throughout the entire life of the scent, but we'll talk a little bit more about that as we continue. As you transition into the mid of this fragrance here, that freshness is still there and it comes off, in my opinion, a little creamy as well. You get some French lavender, nutmeg, clary sage, geranium, then there's sandalwood and some Indian ginger within that middle section here. As I mentioned, as this fragrance begins to go from that top there, as it transitions into the mid, there's still some freshness there, but I get this creamy feel to it, but it's not a, like this lactonic feel. It just kind of has a creamy, airy feel to it that I really do enjoy. And that could come in count of that sandalwood within the scent. Now, as I mentioned, it doesn't smell overtly milky, right? Although that sandalwood can provide a milky feel there. It kind of comes off as this rich, opulent vibe. And if I'm fully thinking about this, maybe that coconut comes down into that middle section of this fragrance as well. And I may be getting that creaminess as a combination of that sandalwood and that coconut. But nonetheless, there's this very, not super sweet, but this uh, underlying sweetness that comes in this fragrance. And it still has that aquatic feel, but not this salty, oceanic vibe to it. It comes off really, really nice. And a fragrance that 
that I don't think anyone will be disappointed in wearing. Now also, depending on the time that I'm wearing this fragrance, that lavender within the scent is, is also prevalent, but it comes off differently. It's not like this overtly floral piece to it. I think that it provides this very nice change up to a scent where you can feel confident in wearing it in almost any situation. You wear this fragrance to the office, check. You wear this fragrance out casually, check. And I wouldn't mind wearing this fragrance walking down Ocean Drive in Miami because it feels, and a bottle just looks like this party vibe. And it's a scent that is very versatile in nature. So if you're looking for something that you can rock to the office as well as to something casual and just feel good, inviting, this has this soft feel to it that I just really enjoy, then you will wholeheartedly feel that you've made the right decision with the way. And then finally, as we go into the base, you get some notes that I haven't personally come across um, in this way in a lot of fragrances. So you get Somalian incense, you also get some Venezuelan tonka, musk, and java vetiva. Now, let me kind of address the elephant in the room, so to speak, when it comes down to the incense. I, I don't get an incense feel here, and I know that uh, when I think of incense within fragrance, I, my mind goes to Middle Eastern, right? And that's not always the way that things play out, but when I think of that, I automatically think of fragrances being heavy in that, and my mind goes over there. But with this one here, this one is still a aquatic fragrance through and through, and the note breakdown in the base here just plays along well. So as I mentioned in the start of this fragrance review, that this fragrance does remain bright and fresh throughout the entire life of the scent. You get some fresh notes in the top, fresh notes in the mid, and then that freshness is continued into the base here. That vetiva really provides this freshness here. It's not a dirty vetiva, so it's one that I think goes extremely well with this fragrance overall picture and how one would feel when wearing this fragrance. So that's what I have for this one. In terms of your performance here, well, again, this one is no slouch. As you guys know from my fragrances, as well as Stevens and Bowtie fragrance guys, etc., that the fragrance concentration here is uh, 25% roughly in terms of that uh, perfume oils, which you're getting here. So you're getting a lot of fragrance oil here, and it's really noted. We wanted to make sure, I know Steven talked about in this one uh, with his as well, we wanted to make sure that performance was uh, top tier for you when it comes down to this latest release, and he really did that. Now, with this one being the freshest out of the three fragrances that he has released with the most aquatic vibe, with this one, you're getting over 10 hours in terms of longevity. I get about 10 to 14 hours in terms of longevity, depending on when I'm wearing, what the temperature is like, and how many sprays that I've gone for, but in terms of that uh, popping off of the skin and reaching out and touching people for well over an arm's length, then I would say you get that for about the first two to three hours or so is when you can experience that. And that is great for a fresh fragrance, especially with that longevity in terms of performance. So that's what I have for you on this one. This fragrance is going to be one that someone wears if they want to feel confident about themselves, if they feel like they want to be something that's fresh and versatile. This is the fragrance that you can reach for. And if you are a fan of aquatic fragrances, then hey, be sure to check this one out. Steven Bravo with your latest collection. I think you did a magnificent job. And I think the way this fragrance will start out from the presentation that blue uh, just really is something that looks like a time out at sea clear water looks amazing there sir so thank you for what you did here this fragrance is amazing i know the perfumer behind this is jorge lee so for those of you out there who follow perfumers uh make sure you try this one out if jorge lee is someone that you enjoy i'll leave all the information and details about this fragrance linked them listed down below as well as the link to purchase this fragrance if you are looking for it or if you just want to find out more information about Navitas and or steven's specific collection with them that's all I have for you guys and girls today as always i'm your boy big beard beat don't forget to like comment and subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again and you already know what i need you to do just hit the gap damn bell